to Allah, glory to Allah, glory to Allah, and glory to the mighty Peneb Empire. Salute, oh, salute everyone, because we speak French in Peneb, I want to tell you that right now. This has been a monumental moment of, of just monumental things. We as Peneb industrialized last episode, or really we just westernized, but it's basically industrialization as well, so, and... Right now, we have major things to think about. Um, the first thing we have to think about is what kind of government do we want to be? Do we want to be an absolute monarchy? Um, do we want to keep with our established tradition? Or do we want to completely free up to become a president? And I know in one of my episodes, I did say, or maybe I was thinking, I don't know if I said it out loud or if I was thinking about it. I was thinking, you know, maybe I should stay an absolute monarchy. But, you know, I, I don't know if I should. Like, because look, Plurality only gives us a monthly change. Revelationism, from the French word for revenge, is the yearning for the return of land lost to the nation. In love of war and peace alike, our people will be willing to make greater sacrifices for the return of our sacred soul. Really? I wow! I didn't. I never seen that before in this game. So apparently, there's something called revel revanchism. Basically, revenge on almost everyone. So, but anyways, we got mobilization and all this kind of stuff. So, anyways, we actually got a mobilization force, man. So. Um, do I want to stay with my initial thoughts as an absolute monarchy? Because basically if I stay as an absolute monarchy, I'm doing no political reforms. Completely no political reforms because I don't want... Because any of these that influence... Anything I do over here will basically influence everything else. And that's what we don't want. So, you know, it's basically up to do I want pensions, do I want anything, or do I want, you know, anything over here. Right now, I wouldn't really actually be able to afford it, if I must be honest with you. Um, but I'm... I think what I'm going to try to do is... You know, the king of this land that united this place definitely wants to keep his throne. So, we will not be trying to take it away from him. So, we will try as hard as we can to keep us... Keep us, um... At weary. So, right now, we got only one decision that we can make, which is sign the Geneva Convention. Which... You know, the only reason why I think I would sign it is because of that loss of infamy, but I don't think I should. I think I'm just going to relax right about now and just, you know, take in... Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We can allow construction of Dragoons. Okay, right now, um, I think we took a lot of the basic technology from the uh, British because they were in our sphere, so um, we need to now start thinking about what path do we want to go down to in terms of how do we get to the point of great power in this. And we are already second day. Wow! That was quick. Like, legitly, I did not think we would get the second dairy power this quick. So, the, like I said, the only thing that was apparently holding us back was the... Uh, oh, so, excuse me, people. Um, was our uh, inability to do industrialize. So, where do we go from here? Well, obviously, the next... Whoa! Oh yeah, we get free railroads in our core place if we like did that railroad thing. So now we got free railroads over here, which is pretty nice. And we got our only factory built right here, which is also nice. So basically, I think what we're going to have to do in this next couple episodes is um, a lot. To tell you the truth, just a lot. Um, one thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start preparing for our invasion of the Great British. Which, as you guys know, is not going to be an easy task. It's probably going to kill me. <laughs> if I must be honest with you, it's probably going to kill me. Because there's not many challenges I can take that, you know, I say is going to kill me. But this one, I think, is legitimately going to kill me. Um, what else we have to worry about? We have to worry about industrializing and get a decent economy going. Right now, we have a couple of men, you know, things like that serving out. We need to start encouraging craftsmen. Um... We also need to start encouraging a lot more. Like we need to, we need to start beefing out our borders. And I think I'm not in the terms. Um, I, I think I'm gonna have to switch the royal family to the liberal. Um, what is it? The national, not the nationalist, the liberal faction. And I bet you guys are thinking why, but you, get, you said you hate laissez-faire kind of stuff. I do. With a burning passion, I hate laissez-faire. It is one of the stupidest. Never mind. But, for right now, we're not going to be going to war for a while. We're not going to be doing much. And we do need the, we do need other people to be building our economy. And that just, like, plummeted quickly. Wow. 
Okay, so we're gonna have to try to balance. Now that we got a balancing, okay, we're gonna have to do that. That's basically what we're gonna have to do. Um, we're gonna have to figure out our economy. Cholera quarantine. Do, are we still gonna get the cholera event? Cause I'm gonna be so mad if we keep getting that event. So we really don't need it. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna have to be worrying about that. We're gonna be worrying about militaristic technology. Oh man, I almost forgot. We have to instantly start catching up. So. The best way to catch up, I guess, is we're going to have to start working on idealism and then from there start working on other technologies. Um, right now we have a pretty good boost because we're a semi-advanced nation, I think, for our own column of spreads, thanks. Look, we have a 3.8 million people and I think our population could actually take this. Well, 13.93 million people in total, but I think our population could take it if we have a little bit of other problems. So. Right now, we're just trying to do that. And can we do spheres of influence right now? No, we cannot. As a second day power, we can't really do anything except be known as a second day power. Which I guess is good, but it's not the nicest thing in the world. And we do have, you know, now I think the Bakura puppet will actually pay off because it's actually kind of nice to have Bakura as our puppet. And we don't get to go to war against these guys for a very, very long time. So, I guess one of the future things we have to worry about is... Um, a sea access or sea, you know, sea bed so that maybe we could colonize this little coast over here. Because this would not be bad. I mean, this is not going to be a bad area to colonize. From there, we could possibly get to like right about here and then, you know, maybe conquer other places like Ethiopia, um, Ethiopia for the population, all that kind of stuff. So I think what we should be working on is, you know, I love Sid, but before we leave the sphere of the Great British, which actually can the Great British. Do the Great British like us now enough to... Oh my goodness! Ooh, dang. Okay, we need the Great British on our side for a little bit, okay? Now, now that a lot of things have happened, we need to get the Great British on our side to... help us with wars and to help us with stuff, because you know what? That would have helped us out so many times if we had the Great British on our side. And we should be doing other national focuses, because... You know what? We really do need more national focuses, so... Let me see outside my area... Um, administration control is still very minimum. That's because we don't really have anyone. Uh, there's a decent amount of Penebai people over here in Penebai, Afghanistan. I'm going to see if I can gain control over this region. Um, over here, how are we doing in terms of population? Um, Talik. There's a little bit of Penebai, but I don't think it's enough to really do anything. Um... I'm just trying to figure out the best okay this is probably gonna be the only other oh what are you oh wait how are the regions broken up <laughs> I'm confused okay um okay well we need to start encouraging bureaucrats so that we can start gaining control of our country because right now like I said we only we only have control of our capital. If I, if I must be honest with you, if, if really anything came to show, we only have control of our capital. So let's try to start, like, influencing other places to, you know, yeah, industrialize and, you know, to start encouraging the return of bureaucrats. I mean, one of our provinces actually already has a decent amount of bureaucrats already. This place, so, you know, it shouldn't be that hard. And we're going to try to inch, inch by inch just increase the, uh... Um, let's see if we can get to 15 on both of these right there. I'm going to inch by inch try to increase everything and, you know, do a lot of stuff because I think our next conquest is going to be of Sid. Sadar. But that's not going to be for a very, very long time. And, uh, it's not going to be for a very, very long time. Do I even want to do it? Because the next war I'm planning on going to, I guess, long term wise... Well, actually, I'm going to have to spend, like, a couple years just, like, gaining down my infamy, and then maybe I'll go do something. Hmm. I don't... I, I honestly don't know, because I'm going to have to think. Like, legitly think about, should I actually be wanting to conquer Sid for, you know, 22 infamy or something? Or do you do I want to go after Senate Peneb and Expedition? Why not? Let's go start gaining some national focus on us. Now that we recently just industrialized, we might as well start pushing our name out there into the world. But I should be working on other nations. Um, the biggest and the baddest I think I should be working on is Russia. Because the Russians, I think, would be the most helpful in terms of, well, at least until China comes of age. If China actually does form in this, 
Let's Play, then they'd probably be the most helpful. They have the biggest army in any game I've ever seen. And they're honestly kicking the butt. You know, let's increase our relationships with them. Just, just in the future, just in case if we need them. You know, we want to make sure that just in case we have them on our side. Okay, keep, keep increasing our research points because that's going to help us in the future. We need to just work solidly on research points and then we can start working on other technologies to start leveling up everything. Um, right now, um, we actually have a decent amount of full factory built. That's kind of amazing. Ah, uh, first factory ever built and we have a lot of people already in it. That is awesome. We have like no interest from outside people though about our own production, but I had to do that because we just did not have the money. Again, it's sad. You know what? Never mind. Poo it. I have the money. Dang it. Don't you dare tell me I just enacted. No, I did not. It's still appointed. Uh, it's still appointed by me so I can still enact things like that. I'm just gonna have to wait a little bit longer because there hasn't been enough time. We have to start. No, we really gotta start thinking about our conquest of India and start start taking down, you know, India. Well, yeah, basically we have to start thinking of, you know, uniting all of India. And as far as I remember, there's only two ways I can do it. I can either take down all of these regions, or I could try to form India, which I think is the harder path. Because forming India, let me see, decisions-wise, uh, form India. Uh, for all co all core provinces of the following must be true, owned by Peneb or province owner is the Peneb sphere of influence. So I'm also gonna have to worry about you know sparing all those little tiny states because yeah they're all little tiny states and they could definitely become an issue in the future. Small arms factory. Ah oh, dang. Yeah I think I'm gonna have to like break off and you know start making my own factories now. I'm thinking about it because. I remember what happened in my Canadian Let's Play, and you know, I transferred power to the Liberals, and you know, they messed me over. They messed, they severely messed me over. Like, I remember just trying to build factories, and they did not build any factories. We need to start, we need to start building factories in our places, and start industrializing. Um, I don't have much connection right now. Railways wise, we can only have one railway naturally built, and then this one's just luckily built. Um, in this core province, though, since the Ordi is a fabric factory, how much would a lumber mill? Hmm. Right now, we should. Well, that is like majorly dependent. Um, right now, we have to think of things that are go together. I think this uses cloth. Yes, the regular factory uses cloth, which then we can use to build more army. Which is kind of what we need. We're not trying to, you know, do anything fancy. We're just trying to, like, industrialize slowly. Which is, you know, our overall goal. And how are we doing administration controls? Anything changed? Yes, a little bit has changed. So, that tells me that my efforts to, you know, do this are actually paying off. So, oh my goodness, this is like an exciting time for us, people. We actually have, you know, stuff to be doing stuff to be going on. I mean, I could be upgrading our military by now, but um, that may cost money, and right now we don't really have that much money. But we have, you know, we're 50% taxing the people, which isn't bad compared to past times, but I'm not really upgrading all my men. I'm only about 50%, 52% building stuff and all that kind of jazz, but I think, uh, I honestly think this is way better than how we started or how we could have started. I mean, this is like a great let's play. Or, yeah, I'll say a great let's play because this is hard. Like this Peneb playing as Peneb is a hard nation to play as, and somehow we're doing it with style and yeah, <laughs> it's all due to my beautiful le leadership. And right now we are killing a lot of people because we have a lot of modifiers saying yes. We have tons and tons of modifiers saying oh wait, we have no modifiers saying um, killing people off. But apparently people are leaving my nation, and we have our one railroad built. Yay! Look at that railroad, everyone. Bask in its glory. Oh, we're gonna travel on it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that was nice. That was a nice railroad trip. Um, yeah, I think we're about done here, people. Like, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Or actually, this was not wasting your time. What am I talking about? This was all important to the overall story of the Peneb Let's Play. So, everyone, thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and do all that kind of stuff. We have 
our first industrial power score. We are, you know, building our regular factory, you know, regular clothes factory. That way we can have a, uh, you know, kind of coinciding, you know, factory buildup. I mean, this is gonna, this is gonna make the actual linen or fabric, and this is gonna get the fabric. And since we have lots of cotton in this place, this is all very effective. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.